Prosecution witnesses testified today in the case of a former senior manager of Pernellis Electric Cooperative charged with theft and money laundering. 66-year-old Benny Fuelberg is accused of arranging for thousands of dollars of co-op money to be paid to relatives of PEC executives between the mid-1990s and 2007. Fuelberg has pleaded not guilty. All new at 6, KXAN's Jacqueline Glaze joins us now from Gillespie County with more. Jacqueline. Leslie, prosecutors are not wasting any time getting to the meat of this case. Their first witness, William Price. Fuelberg is accused of arranging for thousands of co-op dollars to be paid to him over the course of five years. Attorney William Price, who sits at the crux of the case, testified for almost two hours this morning. Prosecutors say Fuelberg arranged for the co-op's outside law firm, Clark Thomas and Winners, to send legal bills to PEC that ultimately lined Price's pockets for work he never did. Have you ever done any legal work for PEC? No, I have not. Price says he was being paid $2,000 a month over five years. Defense attorneys argued Fuelberg had no knowledge of Price's hiring. Instead, they told jurors Walter DeMond, an attorney with Clark Thomas and Winters, hired him. In that initial interview where Walter talked to you about doing some work for Clark Thomas, he, he never said that you were going to be doing work for PPC. No. DeMond is facing the same charges as Fuelberg. Attorneys also argued over the hiring of Fuelberg's brother, Curtis Fuelberg, as a PEC lobbyist without the board's knowledge. Prosecutors told jurors Fuelberg had an obligation to be honest to co-op members. These bills left out significant information. Significant information. And the question I want you to ask is why? Defense attorney Chuck Grigson said Benny's hiring of his brother was not illegal, but simply a bad business decision during a time when electrical co-ops were undergoing deregulation and lobbyists were needed. Nobody was more passionate about PEC than Benny Fuelberg, and nobody cared more about providing the best customer service for his members of the co-op than Benny Fuelberg. The defense also argued that Fuelberg did not violate any written agreements with the board or employment contracts by hiring his brother. Now, prosecutors plan on calling more witnesses tomorrow. It'll not be until week's end before the defense starts calling its witnesses. Live at the Gillespie County Courthouse, Jacqueline Inglace, KXAN, Austin News. Jackie.